kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part five of my video series on trim video using FFmpeg in Android Studio. Alright, guys. So in this video, we will try to write the command for our uh, FFmpeg trimming. And so let's get started. Okay, so we were uh, in this trim video uh, method, and we called it before we. Uh, okay, so here after we got this uh, file prefix or the file with the video file name, then we just. uh use the trim video and we send the minimum value and the maximum value to this trim video and also the file name so what this trim video will do is it will create a folder and then will store the file or i mean it will have the path of the destination uh video so here inside this trim video method first of all here we i can we can change it to integer start ms millisecond and this when will be and millisecond and then this will be string file prefix and let's set change it to abc okay guys so here we can change it uh, the abc to file name and then inside this trim uh, trim video method first of all we will create the folder so we can say folder equal to new file environment dot get external storage directory then we can have the folder name and it will be trim videos all right then here we can check if folder does not exist then we can say folder dot mkdir then make the folder and then we can say file prefix equal to file sorry prefix equal to file name and then we can say string file extension and it will be dot mp4 and then we can say destination equal to new file and here we can pass this folder then we can say file prefix plus file extension all right then we will have the original path and we can get the original path of the video because we need it in this r command so here we can use get real path from your uri and here we can pass this get application context and the uri and so let's create this method and in this method first of all we will have let's change it to context and let's change it to content uri and so here we can first of all have the cursor equal to null then we can say string projection equal to media store dot images dot media dot data and then we can say cursor equal to con context dot get content resolver dot query and here we can pass our uri then we have to pass our projection then null all right then we can have the column index so we can say column index equal to cursor dot get column index or throw and here we can say media store dot 
images dot media dot data all right then here we can say cursor dot move to first we need to make the cursor move to first and then we can return it cursor dot get string and here we can pass the column index and now we need to use the try catch block so for that let me first of all set the try method and let's copy that and paste it here and finally we can say catch and we can catch any exception that arises and then here we can return null or we can just return an empty string then after this catch we have finally and inside that finally and we can check if cursor is not equal to null cursor dot close all right so this uh, method will uh, re return the absolute or the real path from the uri because we need the path so yes so after we get the real path from the uri now we can get the duration so here we can say duration equal to and ms minus start ms and we can just divide it by thousand and after that we need to write our command so we can say command equal to new string and here we will have the command so how can we write so first of all the syntax of the command is minus ss then we have uh, here okay so we have the start millisecond divided by thousand then we have minus y and then we have minus i and then we have the original path then we have minus t t means for uh, trimming and then we will have the empty string and then we will we will have end ms minus start ms and then we ha have divided by thousand then we have minus v codec and then we have mpeg4 and then we will have a lot of other things and there we have minus b slash v then also we have uh, the bitrate so it will be two zero nine seven one five two then we will have again minus b a then we have forty eight thousand then we have minus a c then we have two and then we have minus a r then we have two two zero five zero and finally we have the destination dot get absolute path all right so that is our string uh, string array for our command so now basically what we are gonna do is we will just send this the duration the command and the destination uh, path to this progress bar activity all right and so now we will just open our progress bar activity and here we will have to use or create the progress bar xml file so basically we will be using the circle progress bar so here we will have 
the circle sorry it will be relative layout and then we will have circle progress bar then here we will have it uh, we will use the custom so we can say uh, 100 stp then here it will also be 100 stp then we will have the margin top to 20 dp then we can say app progress and color and that will be android color transparent and then we can say app progress stroke uh, width and that one will be 10 dp and then we will have text color uh, progress uh, text color and it will be fff then we will have center in parent and it will be true and finally we will have the style and it will be solid line alright so I think I have not set the ID so we need to also set the ID as circle progress bar so in this progress bar activity now first of all we will now receive the activity I mean we will receive the values and then we will send the values to our service so first of all let's create a new class and that will be our service which will run in the background and we will use the live data to display or send the data back from the service to the activity so here we can have the ffmpeg service and then here we have the following so first of all we have we need to add some variables so first of all we have the circle progress bar and then we will have in duration then we will have the command then we will have the path all right and then we will have a lot of uh, a couple of other things so first of all we will have a service connection and we name it as m connection then we will have the ff mpeg service and then we will have integer yes then inside our own create method we need to bind the view so first of all we will, we will bind the circle progress bar and we can say equal to find view by id r dot id dot circle progress bar and here we will add the uh, circle progress bar then we also need okay so here we can set it to 100 circle progress bar dot set max and it will be equal to 100 then we can now receive the value so we can say intent i equal to uh, get intent and now and now we can check if i is not equal to null then we can say duration equal to i dot get int extra and here duration and it will be equal to zero uh, the default value then we will have the command and it will be intent dot get string array extra because it is an array and we can also get it and we can write command then we will have the path we can say i dot get <coughs> string extra and here we can have destination uh, and then we can have uh, yes intent my intent equal to new intent and from here we can use the progress bar activity dot this and we can call the ffmpeg service dot class and we can send the data so we can say use the sorry we will use the my intent dot put extra and first of all it will be the 
duration and then we can uh, pass it like string so we convert it to string and we can say duration then we will have the my intent dot put extra and then here we will have the command and we can simply send the command here and also we have the uh, destination so we can say we will have the destination and here we will have the path so after this uh, now we need to start the service and then we can finally say start service and we can pass the my intent here all right and then we now need to create the service but before that let's have have a service connection no okay so before that we need to have our uh, ff mpeg service and for that let me first of all um, okay so here we will have the ff mpeg service so i think that is enough for uh, today if you guys like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye